YouTube world. I'm um, doing a quick voiceover at the beginning of this video. I've cut a lot of me waffling out this time as this is the, I think it's the second one in a series of this winter forest type scene. I, you know all the colours if you watched the last video and it's just slight variations, doing things slightly different order. Here I'm putting a base coat down, still doing a flip cut for sky, but just trying to get something that I'm happy with. Um, and I, I will jump back into doing normal voice as I'm painting in a sec. But thank you for watching and um, <laughs> I hope you enjoy this painting. I haven't given myself much time to do this painting on purpose. I have an exercise class at nine o'clock this morning on Zoom. It's now 7.53. And my theory is that's a good thing because it pushes me just to get it done. And it stops me fiddling. and drag there. Okay. really pleased with that sky. If you look at the picture, we've got the dark area at the top graduating to the white. I could blend this in a little bit more, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it. <clears throat> Quick torch. It's quite nice actually because I don't really want any cells to appear. Okay, so now I am going to work on this. I'm going to leave this area to the last and I'm going to do this water, these dry swipes with a mixture of palette knives. I have, a, I have an array. I don't know if I'm going to use any of them. I might just, just do one. One big one. So that didn't quite work out as it did in practice. <laughs> it looks nice though, but I, I don't use flow troll because um, the hour troll that we get in the UK, it's just, it's rubbish. I'm sorry if you use it, but I just, it changed. I don't know why it changed. It was fine and then it had a new label and I don't know if they changed the recipe, but nothing ever happens. So this is just PVA. Good old PVA and water. I just added some Prussian blue at the end there just to get a little bit of a greeniness. So this is the hardest part that I'm going to do now and I'm running out of time. What's the time? 8.08. .08. 
what time does it start? Right, so I have silver. I have a couple of silvers. I have uh, Deco Art silver and PBO silver. I also have, which I hope is a magic ingredient, is Golden's Iron Oxide. Um, it's only got a little bit left. This is their heaviest density paint. So in theory, if you use it in a swipe, it will sink and give you lacing. But you know. So, we're gonna do the trees. <laughs> Can I just leave it there, please? Can I just leave this painting where it is? I love this. Reminds me of um, the landscapes that Chris Schneider does, the lovely flip cuts. I don't want to do it. Right, okay, so I'm going to go in with my white. Okay, I'm not, my trees aren't going to go off the top of the thing the canvas because I don't want to lose my sky that much. I know I'm going to lose some of it, but I know that right in the middle of there, there's some very white trees. So just to polish this off, I've got some high flow white. Now, I've had major accidents with high flow white in the past. So, what I am going to do is just put a small amount. <laughs> See if I can open this stupid thing. I'm going to put a small amount on here and then I'm going to get a stick oh, I'm going to get a stick I don't know if this is going to work but it's, it scares me So this painting is in nowhere near finished. It's 8.30. I've got half an hour before my exercise class. 
I need to bring some definition into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it till after my class. I'm going to come back and I'm probably going to do just a couple of balloon rolls at the side just to draw the, the sides in. And then I'm going to get my stick and do my thing with my trees. Okay, here we are with the finished result. I love the bottom here. I love that um, blue. <laughs> That's the PBO blue there. Um, silver again poking through. A little bit of um, Prussian blue coming down here. Payne's grey. Uh, moving up. I did do quite a bit more work on this than you saw on the time lapse. Which is you can do that because you're in control with a brush. Just knocked knock some of it back a bit so it wasn't so prominent. And then moving up, just highlighted a couple of trees to make them pop. And again, um, made the whites whiter so they popped. You can't quite see it in this light. But the sky is it's very very shiny and it's not even been varnished yet um i don't always varnish my paintings sometimes i just give them a seal or a spray i find that the colors don't dull for some reason they do if i use our troll or flow troll but with pva they don't they don't lose any of their oomph <laughs> so thank you for watching just really pleased. It's a lovely painting.